Mira, y así. Ay, sí, es cierto. Hello, good evening. Hi. Hello. Hello, Hello, how are you? Hello. Hello. Bye. Bye. Good. Bye. Hey, good. I'm, 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 I'm glad that you're happy. You sound Francisco, happy. Francisco, Francisco, molestando. Olimpia se pone a hacer relajo. ¿sí? No, ¿cuál? Jamás. Very good. Le puede unos chistes por ahí. Tell me, tell me something positive, Francisco. Something positive. Uh, something that happened to you today. Maybe something happened to you today uh, that was positive. Great, great news for my business personal. What happened? What's a guy? Uh, yes, uh, because I have a business of uh, robotica. ¿De qué? Robotica. De abejitas. Ah, robotica. No. Es que le pegan, no puede hablar muy fuerte. Se ve. Oh. So you, 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 wait, tell me, wait. tell us. You have good news. Ah, nice, nice. Uh, eh, this is my son. Okay, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. He made it. Nice. Yes. That looks very nice. It's Legos. Is that Legos? Yes. No, nice. Canex. Canex. Canex se llama. No son Legos. Sí. Ah. No, es de la competencia de Canex. Ah, nice. Nice. Hay, hay, eh, quiero poner, o sea, estoy con un negocio de esto para llevar a instituciones educativas y la, el próximo año, primero Dios, ya, ya voy a estar en una escuela en Zaragoza dando este clases de robótica en todos los niveles. Nice. Wow, y eso y eso y esas piececitas dónde las hacen? Son están en, en California. Ok. Entonces ahí a Gracias. eso le puedes adaptar un motor, algún sistema Todo, sí. robótico. Sí. Ah, nice, nice. Yes. The future, the future. Excellent. Yes. Very good. Very good, Francisco. Thank you. Okay, very good. Um, So, tell me how uh, how did you feel about the uh, the photo? Did you finish the photo? Yes. Okay. Photo number one. Let let me let me share with you. Let me go to there. Vamos yes, ahí. Por si queda cualquier duda, we can go to the photo. Okay. If if you have questions about the tareas, the homework. Okay. Tell me. Teacher, no entiendo esto, ¿verdad? Por, por ejemplo, alguien allí puso, eh, no, no la, la palabra, eh, le estaba faltando una palabra, la palabra era do or does, ¿verdad? Y ya pudo corregirlo. So, we are at uh, session two. Eh, tarea, tarea number seven. seven. ¿Ya, ¿Ya le hicieron algunos? Yes. Okay. Yes. Y what about photo number seven? Did you finish? Yes. Okay. Yes. So photo number seven, I asked you to uh, write three questions. Okay. Eh, aquí van a encontrar el mío. Siempre le voy, a, le voy a poner teacher. And then you can read it using the simple present information questions. Write Three questions you would ask someone in a business social setting. Okay. So, for example, remember yesterday, algunos me dijeron, what do you do? Okay. So, that can be, that's a very good question. Another question, where do you work? Okay. Estamos en un, en un ámbito social, right? Just meeting people. Um, what else? Uh, how long have you been working there? Okay. Or you can say another way, how long have you worked in the company? Okay. So examples, right? 
that you can use. Eh, estamos usando do and does. So, ¿pueden hacer preguntas también con do or does? Yes. For example, do you like your job? Okay. Do you have, do you supervise other people? Okay. So, todas estas son ejemplos, right? You can use do or does. All right, very good. So, voy a poner estas aquí, like example, okay? And then you can, uh, if you have any questions, let me know. This is number seven, so, eh, ya voy a calificar algunos que me faltan, okay? If you have any questions, tell me, okay? ¿Alguien tiene preguntas de la tarea? ¿Alguna duda? Tarea número 7. No. Okay, very good. All right, so if you have any questions, tell me, right? Escribenme, share, uh, don't, don't, don't hesitate, right? No problem, I can help you. All right, very good. So today, uh, ¿quiénes se van a quedar to the session? Uh, let me see. Allí publiqué el, el, el document que tiene los nombres. All right, very good. So, today is miércoles 12 de agosto, Wednesday, August 12. We have uh, Alba, you're going to stay. Eh, en esta misma orden, Alba, David, Harold, Francisco. Eh, ya, yeah, solamente. Hay dos espacios por si alguien quiere incorporarse. Hay dos espacios extra. All right, very good. So, ¿qué, qué, qué podemos hacer en esa sesión? Eh, con las, con las, la primera sesión que tuvimos, la primera semana, repasamos el verb to be, el simple past, repasamos el uso de los pronouns, um, cualquier duda. All right, very good. Okay, let's go to the book. You guys are ready? All right. Yes. All right. Yes. Hey. Um, before we go, uh, entiendo que algunas personas han iniciado en este módulo. Okay. Pero si tienen alguna duda de algo que no está en este módulo, por ejemplo, en, eh, como, como los pronouns que vimos ayer, el verb to be, simple past, simple present. Si tienen alguna duda, pues solo pregunten, ¿ok? Yo sé que algunos han iniciado acá y, y tal vez necesitan como repasar o refrescar un poquito eso. Si ese es el caso, no tengan, no tengan pena. All right, very good. So, yesterday, ah, para el foro aquí hay otras preguntas, ¿ok? Foro eh, número 7. Aquí hay otras eh, preguntas que pueden usar. Ok, very good. So, let's go to the next lesson. Today, we're going to describe networking experiences events in the past. Ok. What is networking? Networking. ¿Nunca han escuchado ese término? Networking. Eh, networking se usa en la parte de tecnología, que yeah. es eh, una integración de redes de trabajo. Mm -hmm. Correct. You can use it for technology, right? Definitely, definitivamente. You sí. can use it for technology. Now, okay. you can use it also for social, socializing. For example, eh, when you go socializing, right? You're basically networking. Voy a un seminario, uh, no un seminario, ¿cómo se dice? Eh, como un evento, un foro, okay? eh, un evento social en el trabajo, un, eh, un lunch, a business lunch, maybe a dinner, you go, and you have interaction, right? Tal vez va, va, voy a hablar con otra, eh, compañeros de otra empresa, 
compañeros de la misma industria, pero tal vez en otro, eh, trabajan en otra empresa. Entonces, I want to network, right? I want to socialize. Yo quiero tener y establecer contactos, okay? For example, maybe you work in, uh, uh, you, you work in out of motive industry, out of motive industry. And maybe you go to a car show, right? And you're a mechanic. Allá hay trabajo. Allá hay clientes. Allá hay negocio. Okay? Very good. So, networking. All right? Uh, I want to go over a little bit of, um, of a little lesson on the grammar. I want to do a little, little lesson on grammar. Okay? Just to review. Okay, so let me show you a presentation and we're going to just review a little bit. <clears throat> Simple past. When I talk about events and something that happened in the past, okay, I can use the simple past, okay? The simple past is actions that happened in the past. They're completed actions, okay? Now, in English, we have two type of verbs. ¿Quién se acuerda los dos tipos de verbos que tenemos in English? Or the past. You remember? ¿Quién se acuerda? Regular y irregular. Regular and irregular. Irregular. Mm -hmm. Okay? So, here, for example, I have the two type of verbs, okay? Quiero hablar de algo que, so que pasó en el pasado. For example, maybe I went to the, a, a show, I went to uh, a seminar, a seminar. Um, maybe I went to uh, a conference. And I want to talk about my experience. I have to speak in the past, okay? So, my verbs are going to be verb plus ed, or is going to be regular, irregular, okay? So, solo, solo puedo, puedo usar este dos tipos de verbos. All right, example, okay? Ya vamos a ver un, unos ejemplos, pero, for example, worked, okay? In the past, this is a regular verb, okay? Why is regular? Why is it regular? Porque yo lo puedo hacer en el pasado solamente agregando ed. Okay? So, this is a regular verb. Okay? What about irregular verb? ¿Algún ejemplo de irregular verb? Play it. Eh, no, 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 play sería así. En ese okay. caso sería regular. Ah, ok. It. It. No, o oh, eat, comer. Sí. Yes, that's an, uh, a good example. Eat. Eat. Eight. Ahí está la diferencia. Ok. Present. Eat. Past. Eight. Ok. El pasado se pronuncia como el número 8 en inglés. Like eight. Se pronuncia igual. But do you see? That's a very good example. For, for example, yo no pudiera hacer este verbo en el, en el pasado agregándole ed. Eso no existe. Right? No es una palabra en el inglés. But I have to use irregular verb. Okay? Another example of an irregular verb may be buy, el presente, comprar. ¿Cuál es el pasado? Bought. 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 Mm -hmm. Buy, present, the past, bought. Okay? No puedo, no puedo escribir buy. Eso no existe. Irregular verb. Okay? So, los más difíciles son los irregular verbs. Because you have to remember it's a different word. Los más fáciles son simplemente los que tienen ed, que son los regular verbs. Okay? Very good. Now, to speak in the past, 
Necesitamos dos herramientas. To speak in the past. You need vocabulary and you need grammar. Okay? Sin esas dos, esas son como las piernas para caminar. If you don't have that, it's going to be difficult for you. Okay? All right. Let's go to, let's go to the next slide. Okay? For example, regular verbs. Aquí hay varios. Played. Dance, danced. Stop, stopped. Like, liked. Enjoy, enjoyed. Ask, asked. Walk, walked. Hate, hated. Okay? This is an example of regular verbs. Simplemente lo hago pasado agregando ed. Okay? Now, aquí hay un tema de pronunciación que si nos queda tiempo ahora lo vamos a ver. Pronunciation. Because hay tres formas de pronunciar este tipo de verbo. ED. Okay? All right, so I'll show you that after. <clears throat> Irregular verbs. For example, blow. Blue. Blown. ¿Qué quiere decir blow? What is blow? For example, it's your birthday. You put a candle and they say, blow out the candles. Blow. Soplar, teacher. Soplar, yes. Very good. Okay. Now, do you see? No puedo venir aquí. Ah, simplemente voy a ponerlo en el pasado y agregarle ED. Eso no funciona. I have to have a different word. That's why it is an irregular verb. Another example. Break. Broke. Broken. Okay. The irregular verbs tienen tres diferentes tiempos, por decirlo. Break. Broke. Broken. Okay. Mm -hmm. Traer. Traer es como si tú vas a traer algo. Bring. Brought, brought and the same brought. Algunos son igual. Simple past, past participle. Okay? So, ¿cómo se llama esto? Yo le llamo base verb. Okay? This one is simple past. Okay? And this one is past participle. Okay? Past participle. All right? So, esta primera lista está en su forma base, base verb. Normalmente es presente. Simple past. And past participle. Okay? So, irregular verbs tienen estos tres tiempos. Okay? One more example. Look at this one. Buy. Buy, comprar. Past. Simple past, bought. And past participle, the same. Bought. Okay, very good. Okay, preguntas? Questions? Regular verbs, irregular verbs. Okay? Esta tabla que ven aquí, irregular verbs. Okay? Questions? All right. So, Simple, pre, uh, simple tense. The simple tense, okay, has three different time zones for, to say it like that. Okay? Imagine that this is the present. Aquí está el presente. Esta es la línea del presente. All right? So, past, present, and future. Okay? So, what are we going to study today? What are we going to focus on today? ¿Qué vamos a hacer? Vamos a repasar una vez más. Past. Okay? So we're going to focus today. Remember yesterday? ¿Qué, ¿Cuál palabras usamos? ¿Qué verbos auxiliares? Remember? 
doing uh, dust. Do dust. That is present. That is present. Remember, estamos hablando de acciones que yo hago continuamente. Okay. Do you, what time do you go to work? Remember? Me estaban eh, preguntando con WH questions and using do. All right. Now, we have to use simple past. Okay, so let's, let's practice simple past, all right? Now, there are three simple past. Positive, negative, and questions. Positive, negative, and questions. Recuerden. Cada tiempo tiene positive, negative, and questions. All right. Example. Simple past. Well, sería bueno repasarlos solamente para estar en la misma página. Okay? So, remember, here is my line of the time. This is present. So, present, I watch TV. El verbo no le he tocado. Está en su forma base. Watch. Negative, I don't watch TV. Okay. Question, do you watch TV? Okay. ¿Ven, ven el verbo que estoy usando? Do. Sí. Okay. Ese lo usamos ayer. ¿Se acuerdan? Do and does. All right. Yes. Future, I will watch TV. Negative, I won't watch TV. Question, will you watch TV? Okay. All right, very good. So future, right? Now, what are we going to do? We're going to focus on the past. So vamos a pasar casi toda la clase aquí, the past. Look at the verb, watch. ¿Cómo lo hago en el pasado? Regular verb, ED. Le voy a agregar ED. Watched. I watched TV. Okay. Now, I have to use the past of do. ¿Cuál es el pasado de do? ¿Cuál es el pasado de do? Did. Did. Entonces, aquí voy a usar did. Simple past, did. I didn't watch TV. Question. Tengo que cambiar el verbo auxiliar, ponerlo en el, en el, al inicio, ponerlo aquí enfrente. Did you watch TV? Okay. S past. Okay. So remember, ayer vimos do and does. Okay. Ahora vamos a ver cuál es el pasado de, de do. Did. Okay, so today we're going to use did. All right, very good. Questions? Preguntas? No, we're good? Okay, pregunten ahora. All right, so we're going to focus on this. Ya lo vimos, I watch TV, positive, negative. I didn't watch TV. And questions, did you watch TV? Okay, very good. All right, let's go to the book, right? Let's read this conversation, right? I'm going to read the conversation with you and I want you to follow. Luis, did you enjoy the seminary? Yes, I did. I learned a lot. Tell me more. I updated my networking skills. I learned to move from small to smart talk. Great. So did you make new contacts? Yes, I did. I exchanged business cards with 10 people. Awesome. Very good. What are they talking about? They're talking about an experience in the past, a social experience in the past, okay? So eso es lo que van a hacer ahora. Talk about an experience in the past, all right? What are you going to do is cinco minutos practicing the conversation, okay? 
ya nos vamos a ir en grupos. Five minutes, practice the conversation. Ok. Answer the questions here. Answer the questions here. All right. And practice answering. Yes, I did. No, I didn't. All right. So let's take unos 10 minutos. All right. We can do this. Exercise number two, practice the conversation. Answer the questions. Practice uh, number three. And we're going to do practice number four. All right. Let's go to groups. Okay, accept the invitation, go to your group. So, vamos a practicar la conversación and then answer the question. Trío. Vamos a ver el libro. ¿Qué página era? Es la 23. 23. 23. Voy, 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 voy. A 14, 6. 23. Listo. Ok. Vaya. Eh, vamos a, a repasar, ¿verdad? Al diálogo va primero. Sí. Ajá. Yes. Lo voy a escuchar primero a ustedes dos, vaya. Vale. <risa> ok. ¿Quién quiere ser, Pablo? Eh, vamos a hacer Luis. Vamos a hacer Janet. <risa> vale. Dale, pues. Eh, <risa> did you enjoy the seminar? Yes, I did. I learned a lot. Tell me, my, tell me me more. I update my networking skills. I learned to move from, from small to smart talk. Great. So did you make new contacts? Yes, I did. I exchanged business card with 10 people. Awesome. Okay. Oh, you know. Cambiamos, hoy cambiamos los papeles. Bye. ¿Con quién voy? Voy a ser yo, Luis. Tú sé, Janet. Bye. Ok. Démosle. Did you enjoy the seminar? Yes, I did learn a lot. Tell me more. I offered my network my networking skill a i i learning to move it from the small to smart talk great so did you make new contacts yes i did the changing the business card with 10 people dice did you enjoy the seminar yes i did i learned a lot. Tell me more. I update my networking skill. I learned to more from smart to smart tall. Great. Great. So did you make new contact? Yes, I did. I exchanged business this business cards with 10 people. Um, and song, era verdad, it's song, no me acuerdo. ¿Cómo se pronuncia este último, teacher? Exchange, awesome, awesome. 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 Okay. Okay. Este... All right, now what you can do is go to the questions in section three. Okay. Exercise three. Comparación, verdad, teacher? 
Mm -hmm. The questions is about the conversation. Okay. Um. Teacher, eh, una consulta. Acá, yes. cuando es tercera persona, no, 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 siempre vamos a utilizar do o did. Did, siempre vas a usar did. Did, ah, okay. did aplica para todos, todos los sujetos. Ok. Eh, María, si quiere, inicio yo con su, preguntando. Vaya. De, ah, pero acá yo me referiría a ella, no a, a esta persona, Luis. Teacher. Mm, Creo que es... eh, aquí como no importa eh, si estás hablando he, she, como estás hablando en el pasado, el único verbo auxiliar es did. Ah, ok. El do did. and does, esa regla solo aplica en el presente. Ok. Uh -huh. Did Luis go to a seminar? Mm, yes, I did. Mm. No, pero aquí está hablando de Luis, de, de la conversación Ajá. que leyeron ustedes. Vamos a, ese, vamos a responder según lo que leímos en la conversación. Mm -hmm. Correct. Mm -hmm. Ok. Uh. Entonces, Entonces la sería. Yes. Uh, yes. For example, look. Yes, he did. Did you enjoy the seminary? Yes, I did. So, did he go to the seminary? Mm. Did Luis go to the seminary? Yes, no, he did. Mm. Alguien dice no, alguien dice sí. No, la respuesta creo. está en la primera línea de la sí, conversación. Yes, yes he did. Mm -hmm. Do you see, Maria? Ah, ya, ya, ya. Did you enjoy the seminary? Yes, I did. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very good. <laughs> okay. Okay. Dos. Uh, si gusta, le pregunto la número dos. Mm, yeah. mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, he did. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yes. Yes. First. Uh, number one, no, he didn't. Number two, yes, she did. No, number did. three, yes, she did. Yes, she did. And no. Number three. Number three. Number four. Okay. Number one, uh, no, he didn't. It's, it's negative. Right? Yes. Uh, number two is yes, she did, right? Yeah. And uh, number three yes, is yes, yes, she did. And number four, yes, no, he did. didn't. No, he didn't. No, he didn't because uh, the. Porque en la, en lo último que dice Janet dice, yes, I did. I ex I exchanged business car with 10 people. En la pregunta dice, did Luis change business car with 10 people? Y no, lo que cambió prácticamente fue es Janet. Fue la que hizo la acción. Okay. Uh -huh. sí, sí. Entonces, en ese caso sería no. Sí, sería didn't. no uh -huh. La 1 y la 4 uh -huh. es no y la 2 y la 3 es sí. sí. Mm -hmm. So, yes. uh, no sé si quieres seguimos con la conversación. O... Eh, está bien. Y eh, no mucho entendí about de el cuarto el cuarto ejercicio el que está ahí. Eh, un, no. Use yes. Did or no didn't as a short answer to question about the past. Ah. Es como que te, te voy a preguntar cosas, eh, cosas del pasado y tú me vas a responder yes I did or no I didn't. 
como si lo hice o... o no hay dedo. Ajá, o no lo hice, correcto. Uh -huh. <coughs> Por ejemplo, did you eat, eh, did you eat eh, breakfast? ¿Comiste el desayuno? Yes, yes I did. Ok. Yes I did. So, did you go to work? Yes I did. Today. Ok. Did you drive? Drive, drive, drive. Mm. Eh, ¿Conduciste? Oh, no. No, ok. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. I didn't. Ok. So, if you want, you can ask me. Uh, ok. Are you a question? Mm -hmm. You did you work later? Uh, no, I didn't. Did you go um, to a park? A park? Mm, no, no, I didn't. Okay, uh, did you eat lunch? Yes, I did. Did you drink coffee? Yes, I did. <laughs> okay, did you eat uh, pastry, pan dulce? Yes, yes, I did. Okay, very good. All right. You practice the conversation, exercise two, and then answer the questions for exercise three. Okay? Exercise four, it wanted you to ask questions using did. Okay? So let me share with you some questions that I have that that can help you so now to to ask things in the past to ask someone questions in the past there's two ways one you can use did al inicio okay todas estas tienen did al inicio estas se conocen como que quien se acuerda que tipo de preguntas son estas recuerdan pasado yes Son el pasado, pero ¿qué tipo de preguntas? Preguntas cerradas. No. Yes. Se llama, uh, preguntas cerradas. Or in yes, English, no. you can say yes or no. Yes or no questions. questions. Yes, or no. Okay. yes or no questions. Why? Because the answer is going to be yes or no. Okay. Aquí yo no voy a, dar, no voy a responder con información. But what about this one? WH plus did. ¿Cómo se llaman este tipo de preguntas? WH question. WH questions. También se conocen como hay otra forma. Information, information questions. Okay. Aquí yo tengo que dar información. No puedo responder con un sí o un no. Okay. So for example, uh, I want you to I want you to practice here. Voy a hacer la primera con ustedes. Did you go to work? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Okay. Or negative? No, I didn't. No, no I, I did. did. No, I didn't. I didn't. Okay. All right. So, algo, una forma de acordarse. Stop. Si me preguntan con did, respondo con did. Did. Si me preguntan con did, Respondo con did. Si me, me, me preguntan con do, respondo con do. Okay? Pero aquí estamos hablando en el pasado. Did. 
So, tengo que usar did en mi respuesta. Okay? And then you have some other questions here. What did you eat for lunch? Where did you live before? Okay. When did you finish high school? What did you do this afternoon? Why did you decide to study English? Okay. Here you have to give information. Okay. So si pueden responder, pueden responder con información. Okay. And, but you have to speak in the past. All right. So I'm going to give you these questions. Okay. So la voy a poner en WhatsApp. And, and also, I'm going to put them in Zoom, okay? Let's go back to groups and let's practice the questions using did in the answer and WH which did. Now, si se atreven, pueden hacer sus propias preguntas. A su compañero, háganle sus propias preguntas. For example, eh, did you drink coffee this morning? Okay. Did you watch the news? Okay, etc. All right, very good. So let's go to groups one more time and let's practice the questions. Ya la voy a poner en WhatsApp. Eh, Alba, ¿acepta la invitación para ir al grupo? Hello, Alba, ¿está ahí? Que tira ahí. Puede ser que sí. Uh, bueno, entonces, David, sería. Um, hola, hola, hola. Uh, la captura. Sí, pero ya, ya, ya también lo envió este, al WhatsApp. Ah, sí, aquí, aquí lo estoy viendo. Bueno, entonces, para ir más o menos aclarándome, en las yes or no question es cuando vamos a utilizar el did al inicio, ¿verdad? Y dijo que vamos a responder con el mismo did. Pero es yes o no. Ah, dependiendo la, la respuesta, o sea, dependiendo lo, lo que te pregunten, pues lo que yo comprendí, eh, algo así práctico que creo que yo lo, lo sentí que lo dijo súper bien, así para comprender, ¿verdad? ¿Sí? Es que eh, te especificó que cuando te hicieran una pregunta que inicie con did, Tú siempre vas a responder con D, o sea, por ejemplo, yes, I did, o no, I did. Creo que esos eran los ejemplos que están ahí. Sí, pero si te lo preguntan a ti directamente, did you, Ajá. you eh, es decir que ya le estás preguntando en primera persona, ¿verdad? Tú Así es. En primera persona. Así es. Ok, entonces, ya, ya lo tenés en el WhatsApp, ¿verdad? Ya lo estás viendo. Sí, ahorita lo estoy viendo en WhatsApp. Porque también lo estoy viendo. Si querés, bueno, te voy preguntando si, si gustas las primeras cinco con... Eh, yes, no question. Y lo va respondiendo. Va respondiendo. Y luego me toca a mí. Chivo. Ok. Eh, bueno, la, la primera pregunta ya lo respondió él, pero ahí te la pregunto nuevamente. Did you go to work today? Yes, I did. Ok. Did you study English today? Yes, I did. Eh, teacher, podemos, eh, no sé, poder agrandar. Reemplazar. Un poco más. Es, no, es agrandar un poquito la respuesta, digamos, porque dice ahí, did you study English today? Yes, I did at seven o'clock o mm -hmm. nine o'clock. Eight o'clock, por ejemplo. Yeah. Sí se puede, se puede alargar tu respuesta, solamente que 
eh, no te está preguntando eso, sino que solo te está preguntando yes or no. Es, es ah, lo que ah, mencionaba al principio, te, que eran preguntas cerradas. Ajá, son preguntas cerradas. Entonces, si, si quieres saber el tiempo, entonces tienes que decir, what time mm, okay. did you study English? Ok. 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 okay. Mira, you... en conversación ya, comunicación normal, ya se entiende de que quieres saber eso también. Ok. Pero, pero es siempre bueno hacer la pregunta, you know? Ok, perfecto. Uh -huh. Ok, ok. Ok, uh, number, number three. Did you, did you do your homework? Teaching today at work. Uh, no, I didn't. Ok. Did you eat lunch today? Yes, I did. Ok. Sí, usted me pregunta, o sea. Ok. Did you go to work today? Yes, I did. Okay. Did you study English today? No, I studied English. Ah, no, no, no es así, ¿verdad? Ay, me no. perdí. Yes. No, I didn't. Mm -hmm. Correct. No, I didn't. Yes. Mm -hmm. Good. Porque ahorita lo estoy estudiando, antes no. That's true. So okay. you haven't you haven't done your homework. Ah, medio le espera está abajo. Okay. Tomar se me perdió. Okay, now you're gonna do the. ¿Por dónde van? Ah, no, for number four, go. Number three, vamos. Three. Did you do your homework? Yes, I did. Did you have a meeting, meeting today at four? No, I didn't. Creo que tengo mala señal yo. Se le va, ¿verdad? Creo que tengo mala señal, ajá. <laughs> bueno, vamos con las cinco. I eat. I eat, uh, I eat pizza. Pizza? No, lunch. Uh, oh, bueno, teacher. Uh, mm -hmm. okay. uh, cuando menciona uh, you eat for lunch, es entre comidas, ¿verdad? Porque no es java lunch, no es almuerzo. Es mm -hmm. una entre comidas. Did you eat lunch today? Yes, it's, it's just si comiste, sí o no. Did you uh, eat lunch today? Yes, I did. No, I didn't. No, teacher. No, ese un, un, have a question. Uh, WH question. WH question. What did I, you eat for lunch today? Ah. What did you ah. eat for lunch? What did you eat? For example, did you eat pizza? Did you eat chicken? Did you eat? Uh -huh. What yeah. did you eat? I eat pigs, ah, entonces estaba, estaba bien. Entonces. Y ahí siempre, siempre vamos a iniciar respondiendo con el did. No. Y allí no. ya no aplica el did. El did ah. solamente es para yes or no questions. Ah, ok. So here, for WH, ahí tienes que dar información. Acá sí es lo que estaba preguntando David, ¿verdad? Hace un momento. Uh -huh. Ahí, ahí no sería, sé. I, I eat, I eat pizza. Uh -huh. Solamente, que, ¿cuál es el pasado de eat? Eh, eight. Eight, correcto. So tenés que hablar en el pasado. I ate, I ate pizza. Yes, very good. Ok. Ok. okay. Where, where did you live before? Where did you live before? Where did you live? Before. Where did you live before? Donde vivía antes o cómo? Mm -hmm. no? Correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, donde vivía, donde vivía. I live. Mm -hmm. eh, I, uh, I live. No. Sí, I live from uh, so, Soya City, Soya Pango. Okay. All right. I lived in. In. A different uh, in or at teacher yes uh, there's a there's a difference in if you're talking about location okay, okay. Uh, at 
at if you're talking about maybe time. Okay. okay. It. Mm -hmm. Okay. So okay. for the information okay. questions, for the information questions, ahí es donde tienen que sacar el uso de los verbos regulares e irregulares. Right? Ah, okay. Okay, okay. So, okay. Allí ya no es yes or no, si allí es donde tienen que verdaderamente usar los irregular and regular verbs. Irregular verbs. Okay. okay. Do, do. I don't say When I... did you finish high school? When? When? Time, right? Uh, años, years. Yes. Tiempo, huh? mm -hmm. tiempo pasado. Yes. Okay, I finished. Mm -hmm. Finish high school. I finished uh, el tiempo at uh, one, no, one thousand, no, two, mm, veinte, veinte, no, dos mil, two, two, two thousand, ten, dos mil diez. Okay, two thousand, ten. Two thousand, ten. Okay. What did... You, you do this afternoon. What did you do? Lo que haces afternoon en las tardes. ¿Qué hiciste? Ah, ¿qué hice? ¿Qué hice? I did work o algo así, no. No sé, eh, eh, sí está difícil. What did you do this afternoon? ¿Qué hiciste? Es como que hiciste ayer. ¿Qué hiciste esta tarde? Esta afternoon es esta tarde. Ah, ok. Mm -hmm. Always get an A. Ok. What did you do this afternoon? Es eh, eh, como que hiciste esta tarde, ¿verdad, Carlos? Yes. Just sí. tell me one thing, one activity. La respuesta sería, si trabajas en la tarde, I did you this afternoon at work. Mm, si tú trabajaste, entonces cuál es. Ah, ok, for example, cook. ¿verdad? Us usemos el verbo cook. ¿Cuál es el pasado de cook? Uh, cook. Cook. Uh, cook. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. With ed, right? Okay. I cooked lunch this afternoon. Ah, uh, ok. What, why did you decide to study English? ¿Por qué decidiste estudiar inglés? I decided for Ay, ¿cómo sería mejor? Superation. Por superación. Y vea, como, ajá, algo así como mejorar mi currículum o algo así. Ok, you can say to improve, mejorar. What's the verb? Improve. Ah. Improve. True. Okay. True. Eh, sí, sí. Es que las, las abiertas son más complicadas porque nos toca explicar más, Carlos. Hay, hay que tener más vocabulario. Exacto. <risa> eso, eso les dije, si no tienen vocabulario y no tienen gramática, son las dos patitas. O no sea, más. estamos sin, son las sin, dos piernas. sin pies. Okay. Hay que estudiar más. So you need to you need to have a bigger vocabulary, right? For example, ¿cómo se dice cocinar en el cook? ¿Cómo se dice trabajar? Work. Cut. ¿Cómo se dice? Work. You need to have the vocabulary. Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay. Okay, we're going to go back to the session right now. Did you go to work to is is did you go to work today? Carlos? Yes, I did. Did you study English today? Perdón, cuando, cuando cierro los grupos, queda un minuto, ¿verdad? Para que ustedes puedan terminar. Creo que les sale un mensaje a ustedes. All right, very good. So, let's look at the, the, the questions that we have there, right? Just a, just a little, a little review, okay? Now, se están dando cuenta de que si no tienen el vocabulario, 
it's going to be difficult, right? So, yes, I did. Right? Look, normally, no tienen que conocer todos los verbos en inglés. Ese no es el punto. Sino tener bueno, eh, conocimiento de los verbos más comunes. Right? For example, work, cook, eat, watch, drive, manejar, you know, go, ir. So, those are the most common words. Um, okay? Exacto. No tienen que tener conocimiento de todos los verbos del inglés. Yo no me lo puedo tampoco. Sino que simplemente tener un buen, unas buenas herramientas para poder usarlas. Ok. Ajá. ¿Question? ¿Somebody has a question? No, nada más agregar, teacher, con, con lo que estaba mencionando. Que uh, por ahí encontré el, justamente lo que usted estaba mencionando, ¿verdad? Que tal vez no es, no es necesario aprenderse todos los verbos, sino que los verbos más comunes o los verbos que utilizamos con, rutinariamente, por así decirlo. Mm -hmm. Correct. That's true. Correct. So don't, don't, be, don't be shocked, right? Don't, oh my God, so many verbs. No, no, don't worry. Don't worry. You have to just know the most basic, lo más comunes que se usan día a día. All right, for example, did you go to work today? Uh, Luis, did you go to work today? Yes, I did. Yes. Very good. Uh, let's say, Anna, did you study English today? Yes, I did. Very good. Okay. Oli, did you do your homework today? Yes, I did. Very good. Uh, uh, Maria, did you have a meeting at work? No, I didn't. Very good. Harold, did you eat lunch today? Yes, I did. Very good. So th this is very simple, right? Aquí podemos hablar todo el día, el inglés, en sí y no. <laughs> right? Pero eso, eso no es el punto, right? So you want to give information. You have to ask for information, okay? Uh, for example, si yo te pregunto, like, como le pregunté a Harold, did you eat lunch today? Harold say, yes, he did. ¿Ustedes creen que me voy a quedar allí sin preguntarle qué, qué comió? No. En una conversación normal, yo le voy a preguntar qué comió. What did you eat for lunch? Harold, what did you eat for lunch? Uh, I ate, as it's a pronunciation, ate, ate a right. sandwich for lunch. Okay, very good. So I'm going to write your answer here because aquí viene el simple past. I ate a sandwich for lunch. Okay, very good. Aquí está el verbo, ate, in the past. Very good, Harold. Okay, David, where did you live before? I live in Soyapango. Very good. Okay. Uh, Crisia, when did you finish high school? Microphone, turn on, turn on your microphone, please. Micrófono, no le escuchamos. I finished high school 2005. All right. 2005, okay? Aquí está el verbo, finished, regular verb, ED, very good, okay? Uh, Francisco, what did you do this afternoon? Only one thing, una actividad, just one. I have it uh, for meeting. I had a formal meeting. No, uh, no, no. Four. Ah? Four. four. One, two, three, four. Ah, I had. I had. Yes, four meeting. Ah, okay, very good. I had four meetings. Very good. I yes. the verbo in the past. Had. Very good. Okay, and finally, 
Uh, let's say uh, Carla, Carla Stephanie, no sé si está ahí. Why did you decide to study English? Aquí pueden empezar la pregunta. Siempre cuando les pregunten why, you can say because. Because. Eh, let's see, Carla, creo que no está aquí. Eh, let's see, Danilo, why did you decide to study English? Because. I decided, I decided because it's interesting. It's important, no sé si te escuché bien. Huh? Correct. Correct. Because it is important. All right, very good, very good. Okay, yes? All right, very good. So, questions for this? Prácticamente lo que tienen en el libro, the same thing. How to use the simple past tense and yes or no questions. So, you can use a positive statements, for example, I learned a lot, okay, ED. I updated my network skills, ED. I exchanged business cards, ED. ¿Verdad? Estos son regular verbs. Luis didn't attend the seminar, okay? Aquí sí tengo que usar el verbo auxiliar cuando estoy hablando en el neg negativo. Luis didn't attend the seminar. Luis didn't exchange business cards. Okay? Questions. Yes or no questions. Did you enjoy the seminar? Did you make new contacts? Did Janet update her network cuando, skills? Mm -hmm. Questions? Cuando tengo que responder de do, Uh, tengo pero, que responder? Solo que dure, dure es el presente. Aquí estamos, dure es el pasado. Entonces, ah, ah, sí. Ah, digamos que, que responder algo que hice a, eh, ayer, por decirlo así. Entonces es did. Entonces vas a Yo, La pregunta I va did. a ser con did. Yes, I did. Mm. Did you enjoy the seminar? Yes, I did. Did you make new contacts? Yes, I did. Okay. En el caso de la pregunta que estaba antes, la última pregunta, la penúltima, donde respondi respondieron que tuvieron cuatro, cuatro reuniones. Eh, uh -huh. si, si se le hubiera preguntado, o sea, en, este, ajá, en el caso de, de, o sea, hacer en pasado. Es que es de. Yo hice. Así se utilizaría. Ajá. Ah, ok. Es que, es que, eh, recuerda que, mira, do y did es la misma palabra. Solamente que Ajá. una es en el presente y otra es en el pasado. Y otra en el pasado. Es como Pero el verb para... to be. El verb to be es la misma, el mismo verb to be. Ese no cambia, solamente que is presente y el pasado was, pero es el mismo okay. verbo. Igualmente acá, okay. do y did es el mismo verbo. Solamente me tengo que fijar en el tiempo, en la pregunta que está en el pasado y mi respuesta va a estar en el pasado. Ok. Bye, sí. uh -huh. Y si yo tendría que responder, yo hice una carta. Entonces... Eh, no, puedes, eh, no puedes decir, hay que tener cuidado con traducir literalmente, porque en inglés hay una palabra mejor que sería escribir. I wrote a letter. Okay. Bueno, pero yo quisiera, o sea, el verbo hacer. Mm. I did a letter, pero no suena bien. Yo hice Ajá. una carta. Ahí estás traduciendo literalmente del inglés al español y, y no, suena, no suena bien. I did a letter. La gente te va a ver como, ah, you did a letter. 
Oh, you mean you wrote a letter? Yes, yes, I wrote a letter. No te van a entender. En el español, sí. Allí lo que te estás dando cuenta, Omar, es que hay que tener cuidado con la traducción literal. Literal al español e inglés. Por veces no encajan. Sea por el uso de algún, algún vocabulario, alguna palabra, o es las reglas gramáticas. No, no, no van a encajar siempre al 100%. Y este es un buen ejemplo. I did a letter. En español yo hice una carta. ¿eh? Pero hay un verbo mejor que se usa en inglés, que es el pasado de write. Wrote. I wrote a letter. Okay. I wrote an email. I wrote an email to my boss. Okay. Teacher, attend, attend this group. Ah? Attend this group. No te entiendo. Mm, la, la lista, ah. teacher. Asistencia. Ah, the attendance. Attendance. Okay. Attendance. <clears throat> thank you. Thank you. Thank you for reminding me, Luis. Yes. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and do attendance. Okay. Do we have any questions for this? No, all right. It's basically the same thing that you did in the book, okay? So let's do attendance and then we're gonna go to the activity, okay? Tenemos una practice here and then we're going to do a project together, okay? Let's do the attendance. Okay, very good. Ready, uh, Jaime? <coughs> Jaime Alexander? I personally, sir. Sorry right. to be late. No problem. Danilo? Present teacher. I see you. Um, Carla Stephanie? Present teacher. Johnny? Uh, Luis Gustavo? Present teacher. Alba Nubia? Present teacher. Okay, I see you. Uh, David Antonio? Present teacher. Harold Alexander? Present teacher. Francisco? Present teacher. Uh, Ana Romelia? Present teacher. Maria Sonia? Present teacher. Carla Maria? Present teacher. Crisia? Present teacher. Omar Arturo? <coughs> Omar Arturo? Present teacher. Present Hi. teacher. Uh, Oli? Present teacher. Minor? Minor, por ahí estaba. Creo que. Okay. Uh, Pablo Ernesto? Present. And Manuel Alberto? Present teacher. Okay, very good. All right. Let's. We're almost finished. I want to go to the project, okay? But let's finish these questions. Number one, ¿cómo terminaría esta pregunta? Usando el verbo que me están dando aquí en parentheses. Okay? Todas van a ser did. Did you attend? Did you attend to a seminary last month? Okay. Yes, I number did. Two? Uh, ¿Puedes responder? Yes, I did. Very good. Number two? Enjoy. Did you? Did you enjoy the party? Uh huh. So, aquí vamos a usar la misma eh, sentence que nos están dando aquí. Did you enjoy the seminar? Yes, I did. No, I didn't. Okay. Number three. Let's see. Uh, Harold. Help me, number three. Todas van a ser con did. Es la, did you make new contacts, esa. Correct, number three. Did you meet new people? Teacher. Uh -huh. yeah. Can you share with us the ah. book, please? Ah, okay, okay, sorry. I thought I was sharing, <laughs> okay. All right, let me share the book with you. Sorry. Okay. Can you see it now? Yes. All right. Thanks. Sorry, sorry. Okay. Harold was saying, did you meet new people? People. Yes. Very good. Yes, I did. Um, 
meet people. Okay, good, good. Number four, Pablo. Did you something? Uh -huh. Usa el verbo que te están dando aquí, en parentheses. Use uh, this verb. Did, did you learn something? Did you learn something? Learn Very something. Good. Very good. Very good. Oli, number five. Did you? Did you network in the convent? Very good. Did you network in the convention? Yes, I did. No, I didn't. Okay, very good. And the last one, uh, Omar. Did you exchange business cards? Very good. Did you exchange business cards? Did yes, I did. No, I didn't. Okay, very good. Now, what are we going to do? Project time. All right, this is what we're going to do. We're going to write five lines que normalmente es un paragraph, a paragraph, five lines. You're going to tell me about your last event, okay? Maybe it was a me, uh, a social event for work, right? Eh, no sé, tal vez fuiste a una fiesta en la empresa el año pasado. I don't know. Or maybe you had a seminar or a conference. Or uh, maybe you went to uh, una capacitación, like a training that you went to, okay? I want you to tell me about the event, okay? Now, vamos a trabajar eh, en dos, dos personas, dos y dos parejas. Y vamos a hacer solamente como una historia. Cuéntenme como una historia. Entre los dos, pueden hacer una sola historia. Okay? Acerca de una experiencia en el pasado. Social event. Una cena de negocio, uh, seminar, training, conference, something like that. Okay? So let's go. Here, you're going to have to use the past, simple past in everything. Okay? And then you're going to share in the class. All right. So let's work in groups. Two. Groups of two. I'm going to change the groups. Okay? All right, groups of two. Solo un grupo va a tener tres, pero es porque estamos, estamos con una persona extra. All right, very good. Accept the invitation. Go to your group, please. Hi, Alexander, ¿verdad? Yeah. <coughs> Me voy. Hello, Alex. Uh, Hola. Okay, Hola. very good. So what you're going to do is you're Hello. going to tell me a story. Cuénteme una experiencia. Now, what you can do is solo cuénteme una historia. Es decir, y no tiene que ser real. Tiene, puede ser algo que ustedes se, se, se inventen. But I want you to tell me the story in the past, okay? For example, uh, last week I went to a seminar, okay? Ahí está la, ahí pueden in iniciar. Last week I went to a seminar, okay? Okay, teacher. Conocí a una persona, me tomé un café, eh, Aprendí mucho. In English, in the past. Simple past. Okay? Yeah. Very good. Questions? No? No. No. All right. No problem. No problem. So, uh, we went to a meet. 
we went to a meet. Yes. Okay. Da uh, Danny, you can do, uh, you can tell me something like this. Okay. Uh, last month, I went to a seminar. Ah, okay. Right? Y ahí empezamos. Mm -hmm. Puedes hablar okay, en primera okay. persona y, lo, y, y, y los dos pueden aportar a una sola historia. For example, okay. this is example, right? Uh, I had a coffee. I had a great lunch. I ate hamburger, whatever. Yes, okay. 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 Five uh, okay. Please, uh, you take a nut or I take a nut? Uh, you take. Okay, let me, a second, please. Okay, very good. So, pueden iniciar algo así. Last month, I went to a seminar. Empiecen a decir qué les pasó. Um, I I drank a coffee. I learned a lot. I talked to another person. Okay. Pueden contar okay. qué hicieron, qué pasó. Pueden aportar a una sola historia. All right. No no necesariamente tiene que ser verdad la historia. Puede ser algo que ustedes puedan ir inventando. So tell me, you have to use the simple past, right? I ate. I drank coffee. Okay. okay. Uh, tengo aquí una pequeña parte. I uh week. I have. We no the last year we have. We have the the we best Christmas the best party. Christmas party. Uh -huh. We eat. O sea, de comer, ¿verdad? We ate. Eh, Pipe con... <laughs> Tuvimos muchas comidas. <laughs> we, we ate, but we ate. Disfrutamos de muchas comidas mejor. We, we enjoyed. We enjoyed, ajá. Uh -huh. Enjoyed. Right? We enjoyed. We enjoyed. Sí, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Enjoyed. Ajá. Uh -huh. Sí, no, no sé si ese se puede. Sí. Eh, podemos preguntarle, aquí tenemos a Carlos. Carlos, yo no tengo ninguna experiencia. El año pasado estuve en mi casa, no trabajé. No, no. trabajé un año y medio. Pu puede ser algo que Así se inventaron. Que... No, es something that eh... no tiene que ser verdad la historia, sino que es something that... Ah, know, ok. Por ejemplo, eh... voy, inici voy a iniciar. Uh, okay. Last month, I went to a conference. Okay. Fuiste a una conferencia. Last month. Last month. Yo, o sea, I yo went. sí puedo traducir, pero hablarlo no puedo. Eso me uh -huh. cuesta. Because, because you don't, you can understand, but you can't speak. It's because uh, you, need, you need the vocabulary. You need more yeah. words. Mm -hmm. Necesito una página de referencia donde me enseñen a hablar. Eh, no hablar, sino Mira. la lista de verbos. Example, eh, yes. Right? Yeah. Okay. All right. No problem. I'll give you. I'll give you some information after. I'll, I'll put it okay. in the group. Okay. Okay. Uh, so I. I put in here. Last month I went to a conference. Last month. Okay. So hace unos meses fuiste a una conferencia. Last month. Sería el mes pasado. El mes Last pasado. Month. Okay. Mm -hmm. Last month, I went to a conference. Now, ¿qué me pueden decir? Eh, no sé, me tomé un café, hablé con una persona. El mes pasado nos mandaron a cuarentena. No, hace como cuatro meses okay. estamos en cuarentena. All right. Oh, so tell me, no tiene que ser verdad. Tiene, puede ser algo que se invente. For uh -huh. example. Um, hace cuatro meses cumplí años. Uh -huh. y no me o sea, regalaron nada. <laughs> All 
All right. No, vamos a decir esto. Hace cuatro meses, está, no, y de verdad, hace cuatro meses, más de cuatro meses estamos en cuarentena. That's las true. four moms, así, las four, las four, four moms. No. no, sería four months ago. Four, four months ago. Four moms ago. Mm -hmm. Cuarentena. No. No, es que no quiero, quiero una experiencia social. Es una experiencia sí. real, asocial. Empresa, empresa. Quiero decir, algo, algo social del trabajo. Algo social del trabajo. Ah, ok. Seminary, hace, conference, ese, training. Ese, hace seis meses fui a, a un evento a a una finca que se llama El Carmen. De hecho, fue toda B2B y fue Pymes. Entonces, nos hicieron... Eh, eh, es un seminario donde es para interactuar con las otras áreas. Entonces, me hicieron tirarme de un canopi como de 8 metros de alto. Y yo le tengo miedo a las alturas. Entonces, me obligaron <risa> prácticamente. Okay, very good. So, tomen, tomen oración pequeña de ahí. For example, six months ago, I went six. to, y ahí pueden nombrar el lugar. I went to, and then the place. Okay? Y después ahí me tienes que dar cuatro oraciones más diciéndome alguna actividad que hiciste. Okay? Now, en el libro, en, en la conversación que practicamos al inicio de la clase, ahí hay como cuatro oraciones que pueden usar. No, prefiero que no copien esas, pero si no pueden, entonces, por lo menos, lean la conversación otra vez. Ahí están. Okay. Ya. Yeah. Manuel, ¿alguna idea? Sí. Pues, el año pasado, de parte de la, de la empresa, no, 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 Manuel, se congeló. El hacha. Hola. Yes, we can hear you now. Hoy sí. Okay, very good. So, ¿ya tienen algunas? Ya, las cinco. Ya. Sí. Okay. Yeah. Okay, let, you can read them to me. Let me hear. ¿Quién está las dos? Yo primero, vaya. Okay. Ajá. Um, last year she had uh -huh. her Christmas dinner at the company. Uh -huh. There was a lot of 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 full of music and dancing, mm -hmm. and the party ended until dawn. Nice, nice. Did you talk to any people? Did you dance in the party? Mm -hmm. So maybe you can tell me a little more. For example, se acuerdan la conversación que estaba al inicio en el libro? Uh, it okay. says, Luis, did you enjoy the seminary? Yes, I did. I learned a lot. I updated my networking skills. Um, I made new contacts. I exchanged business cards. Okay. So maybe you can tell me a little more. Did you talk to any people? Somos otros. No, solo agréguenle, agréguenle otras oraciones. Ah, ah bye. Pero está bien por nada, ¿no? Yes, it's correct, it's good. Uh -huh. Ah, bye. It's good. 
Ah, vale, se lo ponemos más. Sí. Vaya, entonces. Había mucha gente. Espérate como ese error. Teacher, ¿cuál es el, el pasado, el, el pasado de, de dance? ¿De qué? Dance. 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 Dance, la misma palabra, solo agréguenle ED. Doble, doble I. No, ED. Ah. Dance. Ajá, así, así como está. Dance. Ok. After that, we dance. 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 Uh -huh. Pongamos que se hicieron algunas uh, rifas, pongamos. Ah, también. Uh -huh. Oh, we oh. danced for two hours. Eh, hours. Pongamos, bueno. podemos poner que tomamos unos tragos, unas cervezas. Una, okay. una, you can, una, pónganlo, no problem, beverage. you can say. Beverage. ¿Cuál es el pasado de tomar? Eh, drink. Drunk. Present. Drunk. 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 Uh -huh. Drink. Drink. Uh -huh. Como una A. D-R-A-N-K. Drink. Drink. No, ¿qué ve? D-R-A-N-K. N K K Drunk. Entonces tendríamos, tendríamos que ponerle la persona, ¿no? Sí. Sería Harold. <risa> Harold Drunk. Drunk. Uh, uh, beer. ¿Cómo escribe Ponerle, ponerle some beer. B-E-R. Some. Some. No sería some. Es. Es. Some. Oh, así. Some. B-E-R. -E beers. Some beers, cabal. Some beers. Some beers. Y que nos podemos poner ya para el cierre de la... Finalmente se hicieron unas rifas, pongámosle. Final, final. Y Al finalizar final. sería como... To finish. O final, finalizando. Finish. Finish. Final. Tendría que ser eh, finished, el pasado de, de finish. Eh, finish. ¿Cuál es el pasado de finish? Allí, ¿tú lo has dicho? Finish. Solo tienes que agregarles que. ED. ED. Uh -huh. To finish. Finish. Eh, Realizaron, sería, ¿verdad? Sería. Finish to finish. Uh, to finish. Mm. Um, make the. The. Finish. Personal. No. Very good. The ¿Ya, people... ¿Ya tienen cinco? No. En, en cuaderno sí, pero en, en digital no. Okay. Sí, ahí yo creo que aquí estamos ya. Con esto terminamos. Eh, to finish the people. Eh. O oh, pues, podemos ponerles que recibieron un presente mejor. Uh, ok. Uh -huh. Result, result, uh, present. Present, así es verdad. Uh, ¿Cómo se dice? Recibieron. Yes. Recibe, no, recibe, 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 
GIF, GIF es verdad. Obsequio GIF, verdad. Eh, GIF, sí. ajá. Sí. Ah, GIF. GIF con T al final. O oh, no, no lleva T al final. GIF. GIF. Creo que así se va. No me lo... Gift o gift. 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 Ah, no, es con T al final. Es con T. Ajá, F y T. Ya, okay. Gift. Ah, practiquémoslo para que no nos oye. Ok. It is ah, has been. Ah. Bueno, nos revisémoslo para ver si le tenemos, tendríamos que cambiar algo o está mal escrito. Bah. My Christmas party it has been... Uh, no sé por qué escribe eh, su, sobre Suraya Has. Is, uh, no lo reconoce como, como verbo pasado quizás. Bien. Y el bin, si no, no desconozco cómo. No, pero el bin estaba bien, creo. Has been at fifth. ¿Cómo son los? Fifteen. Fifteenth, algo así, es verdad, teacher. December. Eh, para decir quince, pero quince. December fifteenth. Solo que hay una TH. Ajá. Ajá. No sé, creo que hay que quitarla. No, si la lleva. Ah, no, porque es... Eh, eh, si la llevo. Uh -huh. Si la lleva. 15th December 2019. 2019. Un intercontinental hotel. This day has dinner at 7 p.m. And... Eight meat fried in salad. After that, we dance, dance, dance for two hours. Harold drank, drank, drank. Así es, drank, porque es el pasado. Son beers. Si quieren la pueden leer. Si you can. Ok. La leo yo si quieres. Okay. Dice, my Christmas party, it has been uh, the 15th December uh, 2019 in International Hotel. This day has dinner at 7 p.m. Mm -hmm. and eight meat. Rice and salad. After that, we danced for two hours. Uh, Harold drank uh, some beers. To finish, the people of the company received a gift. Good, good. It's good. Very good. Good job. So you guys are going to share it. Okay. okay, very good. <laughs> All right, we're going to go back to the to the session now and guardenla, okay? So that you guys can share it in the class. Okay. Okay.
Okay, very good. I hope you had a chance to work on your story, okay? I'm going to share mine and I'm going to let you share yours, okay? So, una persona de, de, del grupo va, va a leer lo que tienen. All right, very good. So, let me do attendance. Uh, Jaime, present. Danilo. Present. present. Very good. Carla Stephanie. Present, teacher. Johnny, absent. Luis Gustavo. Present teacher. Very good. Alba Nubia. Present teacher. David. Present teacher. Harold. Harold, did you come back? I, I, I see him. Uh, very good. Uh, Francisco Javier. Present teacher. Ana. Mm. Eh, Maria? Present teacher. Okay, Carla. Carla Present Maria. Teacher. Present Así teacher. Crisia. Crisia, estaba por aquí. Eh, Omar. Present. Present. Oli. Present teacher. Minor. Present teacher. And Manuel. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Let me share my story, right? Yo voy primero. I'm going to share my story. Harold, are you there? Harold? Yes, I'm back. Ah, okay, very good, okay. All right. Let's look at my story. Wait. All right. My company Christmas party. El año pasado, December 2019, okay? Very good. We had a wonderful dinner and ate a lot of food, okay? Look at the verbs in the past. We ate a lot of food, okay? All right, we had a wonderful dinner and, had, and ate a lot of food. Next, we sat down in a round in round tables and enjoyed the drinks. Enjoyed verb right in the past. Otro verbo en el pasado. Sat. 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 Okay. El pasado. Teacher de... nos copió. Huh? Nos copió usted. Ah, okay. All right. Very good. No problem. No problem. I won a Christmas present in the raffle. Won. ¿Cuál es el presente? Win. Win. Past one. I drank champagne with my boss. Drank. I danced a lot with my coworkers. Yeah. Danced. That's it, right? Ahí está. So, tenían que hacer cinco, cinco oraciones. All right, very good. Who wants to go first? Who's going to go first? ¿Quién va a ir primero? All right, let me see. Voy a ir en orden, entonces. Yo, eh, I can Okay, let's see. Uh, my group But, is... Uh, David. Carla Maria y Minor. Okay. okay. So uh, you're gonna read it. The Valentine's date I ate cupcakes. That okay. day we share gifts. Okay. I took photos with my friends. We dance danced with Marita Rivera's songs. Okay. I have a lot a lot of fun on Valentine's. Excellent. Day. Good job, good job, excellent. A lot of verbs, right? Very good, very good, David. Excellent. Good job, Minor. Eh, ¿Quién más está en tu grupo? Carla. Carla María. Sí, oh, right. yo. Okay, very good, <laughs> excellent job. Okay, next. Thank you. Who's going to go next? ¿Quién nos compartió pantalla? Danilo. Yo, teacher. 
Okay, yes. very good, man. That is the history with Luis. Okay, good. I think. Yes, last month I went to a seminar and I drank Coca Cola in the morning and also I ate pupusas for breakfast for breakfast and in the afternoon I played with my college and when the seminar finished I drove my car and as soon as the tire explored. <laughs> All right, very good. Very good. Uh, how many verbs do you have there? Uh, I don't know, maybe <laughs> more than five. Good, good, good job. Okay, excellent. Solo te voy a dar un tip. Cuando escribas, Danilo, agrega los puntos al final de las oraciones. Ah, right. okay, okay. All right, very good. Omar, next. Okay. Uh, Harold Christmas Party. Ah, the same. It okay, is good. has been, it is has been at uh, 15 December 2019 in, in in Continental Hotel. This day has dinner at 7 p.m. p.m. and eat meat, rice, and salad. After that, we danced. For two hours, Harold drank some beers to finish the people of the company receive a gift. Nice. Good job. Okay. Very good, Omar. Excellent. Eh, lo que puedes hacer allí es usar was. Okay. Eh, nice. the, Christmas, the party was in December. Okay. The dinner was at... 7 p.m. Okay. El verbo was. Que es el, el verb to be. Solo que en el pasado, ¿verdad? Was. was. Es como decir fue. Mm. All right. Excellent. Good job. Next. Okay. Another group. Maybe you want to share. Si pueden compartir pantalla, si no, solo leerla. Eh, Francisco. María. You want to go? Francisco. Hágalo <laughs> usted. Okay. okay. Uh, the, the last year we have the best Christmas party. Mm -hmm. We enjoy delicious food. We until uh, until sunrise. It was wonderful because we live with our families. Nice, nice, good job. Excellent, very good, Francisco. Eh, who else? Maria? Él iba conmigo. Hicimos ah, lo mismo. Ah, he did it, okay. Sí, eh, sí. ¿Qué más falta? Crisia? All right. Crisia and Ana, I think they were in the same group. Crisia, yeah. dígalo usted. <laughs> okay. I went to seminar last week. I learned a lot about finance. I meet many people and I drink a, a coffee and cheesecake. Okay, very good. Drink or drink? ¿Cuál usaron? Drink. Uh huh. Drink. All right, very good. So remember, drink, uh, drink is, so, so, el, el presente is drink, y el pasado, drink, como una A, drink. Okay. Okay. Right. All right, very right. good. No, but excellent job, excellent job. Okay, uh, questions about that section? Do you have any questions for that section? Okay, very good. So, eh, le voy a hacer preguntas just in the past. Okay, let's see. Random. Uh, let me see. Jaime, what did you eat for lunch? Jaime, what did you eat for lunch? 
Ah, Jaime, what happened, Jaime? Danilo, what did you eat for lunch? Yes. What did you eat I for ate, lunch? Uh, yes, I ate uh, fruit and juice. Okay, very good. Now, lo que vamos a hacer es, Danilo, tú vas a hacerle una pregunta a cualquier persona que tú ves ahí. Yes. You can ask him anything. Okay. Maria. Tiene que ser con did o puede ir did directamente Maria. o WH en did. ¿Por qué a mí? <laughs> <laughs> Vaya, dele. <laughs> What did you decide to study English? Decided. Decided. Que, excuse me. Decidió. Why did you decide ah, okay, to study okay. English? Okay. Um, I decided um, for I because para hacerme para qué ver para mejor futuro. <laughs> no sé cómo decir. How can you say it, Danilo? Help her to have para Let tener. Let me see. Uh, because uh, is is good for the future. Uh -huh, because it's ah, good okay. for for the because, future. Very okay. good. Okay, Maria. You, usted le va a hacer otra pregunta cualquiera. I don't care. Okay. Anybody. Question. Pick someone. Okay. Okay. Um, Davy. No sé si está ahí, Davy. Uh -huh. yes. Okay, Davy. Uh, when did you finish high school? I finished to down and ten. Very good. Okay. okay. Okay, David, you asked a question to someone. Okay, uh, Carla Maria. Okay. Okay. Where did you live before? I I live in Nahuizalco before. Nice. Good job. Okay, Maria, pick another person. Mm, minor. <laughs> okay. Minor. Quiero eh, ver. Okay. Not fácil, Maria. <laughs> <laughs> Did you learn something today in class? Did you learn yes. something in class? Yes. No. No. No idea. No aprendiste nada ahora. Nothing. Te aprendiste okay. algo en clase. Yes. Yes, I did. Excuse ah. me. Excuse me. <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> no aprendió nada. <laughs> All right. Sí, se aprendió, hizo unas oraciones bien bonitas. Okay, very good. Okay, now, esa, esa, esa pregunta que acaba de hacer Carla, did you learn something? Yes, I did. Now, ¿cómo hago esa pregunta? Pero buscando más información. What? 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 ¿Cómo lo hago entonces, Carla? ¿Cómo sería? Uh, what, did what did you learn today? Exactly. What did you learn today? Exactly. What did you learn today? Very good. Okay, minor, go. Question, another person. Um, Harold. Harold, okay. Nice. Yes. Did you have a uh, medium to buy a work? Repeat. Did you have a medium to die at work? Mm, no se le escucha muy bien, but I think he said, did you have a meeting at work? Did you have a meeting today at work? Okay, ahí está, ahora sí. All right? No, no, I didn't. Okay. All right, question for another person, Harold. Uh, to... Olympia. Okay. Me he visto. El día que no me iba a salvar. Andaba callada, Olympia hoy. Sí, bien calladita estaba, fíjate. 
milagro. <risa> Oye, el otro, una, una, Meque. Una fácil. <risa> eh, no quería que le preguntara. No, una, una sencilla, una sencilla. Eh, what did you do in your work today? What did you do? Repeat, Harold. What did you do in, in the work today? What did you do in work today? Yes, I did. And now, ahí, ahí tiene que dar información. What did you do at work today? Eh, no la entendí, es que ya vinieron mis monstruos aquí y ya me distrajeron. Okay. ¿Están B? All right. So, Harold, ¿Ve? repeat the question. Ok, a otra persona, Harold. Pick another person. Uh, Manuel. Manuel. Ya. Yeah. Repeat the question, repeat. Harold. Repeat. Ok. What did you do? In the work today, I I wrote many many documents for the export okay. for uh, uh, Nicaragua. Okay, very good. Question, Manuel, give us a question. Eh, no sé quién falta. Yo, eh, yo Crisia, falto. Ya se uh, Olimpia, Alba, hasta Crisia. <laughs> Francisco. Vaya, entonces Francisco, vamos a ver. Creo que ya salió Francisco. No. Ah, ya estuvo. No. Question, come on. Ya estuvo. Think. Question. What did you saw on the TV? What did you saw? Eh, ahí cuál sería, cuál es el pasado de saw? Was. Went. Wait, no, Wait. what? No, see, saw. Okay. So, what did you saw? Mm, so, te, te voy a corregir en algo que es importante notar. Hold on. Mm -hmm. Cuando mm -hmm. tú usas did, es un verbo auxiliar que pone todo lo que sigue en el pasado. Mm -hmm. Entonces, no, no, no tienes que usar saw, sino que see. What did you see? Uh, on the TV. What did you see on the TV? Okay. I don't. I I I didn't saw TV. Very good. Vio la corre la corrección que hizo Francisco. Él iba a decir do, pero la, la cambió en did, verdad? En el pasado. Mm -hmm. Excellent, Francisco. Good job. Okay. Falta Crisia. Alba and Luis. Okay. Eh, Crisia. What did you dream yesterday? What did you drink or dream? Soñar? Dream. 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 Soñar. Dream. dream. What, what did you dream yesterday? Uh, I don't. Drink. Okay, so sería don't or I didn't. I did. Didn't. Didn't. I didn't. No, no, no. Tiene que ser didn't. I did. I didn't drink. Very good, Crisia. I, I didn't dream, right? Porque don't es el presente, right? No, ya está hablando del pasado. So I didn't dream. Okay, Crisia, question for Luis. Um, when did you finish high school? Okay. I did uh, finish high school in 2010 years. 2010? 2010. Okay, very good. All right, excellent. So, ¿qué aprendieron? What did you learn today? I learned. I learned, you mm -hmm. the past and simple, um, present, for example, our questions, mm -hmm. um, WH, mm -hmm. and yes or not questions. Very good. In the past, right? Simple past. Simple. 
Simple past, right? So, I can speak. Bueno, aprendimos bastante. Remember, regular verbs, irregular verbs. Simple past for positive, negative, and questions. For negative, didn't. Questions, did you? Did you like, did you, did you enjoy your business dinner? Did you watch TV? Did you eat lunch? What did you eat for lunch? Okay. Very good. All right. Excellent. So, ¿quiénes se van a quedar? Bueno, no se van a quedar, sino que tenemos que salir de esta sesión. Um, creo que son... Lo, di, lo dije al inicio de la clase, pero lo voy a repetir. Um, the people that are going to stay, right? ¿Quién tenemos? Miércoles 12, Alba, David, Harold, Francisco, and that's it. Okay? Y hay dos espacios por si alguien quiere ingresar. All right, so, um, ahí hay un horario al lado del, del, de la foto que puse en WhatsApp. All right? So, ahí voy a estar yo, si necesitan cualquier apoyo. Okay? Cualquier motivación o como el teacher que pueda hacer para mejorar o que tengo que hacer. All right? Very good. So, maybe I can help you with, with a little, with a little experience. All right. I'll see you tomorrow then, okay? See you. All right. See you, see you, see you tomorrow. tomorrow.